Okay, now I have these two parts with angles cut on this edge so that they fit together properly. Now what I like to do now is lay them down and take some masking tape. Peel off a little bit of tape here. Get them lined up real nice. And put a piece of masking tape across here, just holding the two together. That way I can pick it up and close it this way. And it'll act as one piece. Okay, it's kind of cold out here, so this tape is not sticking very well today, but that's the basic idea. Now we have the masking tape there, and we can actually set this on here and say, okay, that's about what we're looking for. And again, this tape's not sticking, so I'm going to grab some handy-dandy gaffer's tape here. Let's see if that works a little better. Off with the blue. Alright, that's pretty good. Okay, so now it's together. Now there's a couple of things you can do here in order to, if you want to have the roof removable, which most people do, you don't want to glue it on to the building. So you can run a bead of glue along here and then set it on here just to keep it at the proper angle and let that glue cure. Now, all of our buildings are 45 degree angle roofs, which means the angle between the two here is exactly 90, and that is always the case. It's something we've been very particular about to make sure they're exactly 90. So you can actually assemble your roof off the house if you want. If you have a, a block of some kind that you know is at 90 degrees, you can actually assemble your roof on, on this block, and that's what I like to do. And now, another question that's come up before is what kind of glue do you use to put these buildings together? And you want to use a CA glue, usually the medium. I use a brand called Zap, and the medium is Zapagap. And that's what I recommend because that's what I use. Now this same type of glue, this CA glue, is manufactured and or packaged by hundreds of different companies. So you don't have to go out and uh, try, try to find Zap exactly. You can find any brand, but this is just what I use. But usually it comes in three different viscosities. A uh, very thin, which in the case of Zap is the pink. And then the medium, which is the green. And in the Zap line there's a yellow one, which is called Slow Zap, I believe, which is the very thick one. I find the medium consistency to be best for this type of work. So. To put this together, I'll just put just a little bit of glue right there. And with the CA glues, you can use an accelerator or a kicker. And what you do is you put just a drop of that on there, or a spray, or however it comes. And that'll cause the glue to cure immediately. Now that is cured. I'm going to flip it around and do a little bit over here as well. Just a little drop. And grab the kicker. Put a drop of kicker on there. Always being careful to hold it up against this 90 degree block to make sure I'm keeping my angle perfect. Now, because of the way I sanded this real quickly on the, on the uh, disc sander over there, I've actually got a little bit of gap at each end you can see, but you could just close that up with your fingers. Put a little drop of glue on there, get the kicker ready, close that up, hold it for a few seconds, let that go, and then we'll do the other side the same way. And if you get a gap somewhere that's real big, you can always go with some uh, some putty, whether it be you know like automotive body putty, Bondo, or any kind of uh, model making putty like Tester's plastic model putty, something like that. And you can fill it in if you're real particular about that. So there is the roof, completely assembled. 
sits on there. And as promised, the angle is exactly 90 degrees, so it fits perfectly without applying any pressure to it at all. So I'm not, I'm not flexing it or bending it to make it look good. It fits. So that's basically it. Now you can take sanding block, just go along the top edges here, kind of blend them together a little bit. Have a look at it and you can see right here it's not a crack but there's a little bit of a, a, a gap there it's filled with glue but it still looks a little funny so I would put some putty in there and uh, fix that up a little bit um, I picked this piece because uh, this roof piece because it was a bit of a reject there's a tiny little bubble right here in the corner and that'll happen sometimes and sometimes they get past me so you might get one with a little bubble in it somewhere as hard as I try for that not to happen if that does you can uh, you know, put a little putty in there and fill that. Now I'd spray this with a little primer and paint it and we'd have a nice roof. That's pretty much all there is to making a roof. Hope that helped you out and have fun. <laughs>